Hey, Pastor Dale? Yeah. So, you're wearing red today. Well, yeah, because it's Pentecost. Pena what? Well, it's Pentecost. Uh, it's the day that, uh, it's kind of like the birthday of the church. Really? The church has a birthday? Well, yeah, it's uh, the day that, that 3,000 people came to faith through the preaching of God's word and through baptism. It's a really special day. Wow, that's great. But that doesn't help me. <laughs> what do you mean that doesn't help you? Well, I've been arguing with my parents. You have? Well, what about? Well, whenever we're in the car, they want me to wear a sheep belt. A sheep belt? Yeah, it holds the sheep in. Oh, you mean a seat belt? A seat belt? Why would I need a seat belt? Well, because the seat isn't going anywhere. You need a sheep belt to hold the sheep. Okay, uh, fine, fair enough. So what's the problem? Well, it's not comfortable. I don't really like it. And when I'm wearing it, I can't get up and run around in the car. Well, that wouldn't be safe if you did that. Well, that's true. But, but I don't want to wear it. And so you argue with your parents? Yeah. But they just want to keep you safe. Well, yeah. But what if I don't want to be safe? Oh, your parents love you enough that they want to keep you safe even if you don't want to be. Because they know what's best for you. And so when you argue with your parents and they get their way, then you win. How do I win when they win? Because they want what's best for you. And so that means that if they win, that you get what's best for you. I'm going to have to think about that one. Well, you know, it's the same way with God. God makes us wear a sheep belt. Well, <laughs> God wants what's best for us. God loves us. And, and so he always gives us what we need and, and what is best for us, even if it's something that we don't want. Even if it's something that makes us uncomfortable or, or, or keeps us from doing things that we, do, that we want to do. Well, that doesn't sound very nice. Well, it's because God wants what's best for us. And sometimes we don't want what's best for us. But he loves us enough to give it to us anyway. Well, oh, yeah, I guess that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I mean you wouldn't think that, that we would want Jesus to die for us, and yet he did, and because he rose again, we get to live forever with him, and all our sins are forgiven. Yeah, I wouldn't have planned that one. No, but isn't it great that he did? Yeah, I guess maybe he does know best. Yeah. So, question for families. Has there been a time that somebody didn't want what was best for them, but... You got what was best for you, and that was better than what you wanted. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, sometimes we ask God for things, and, um, you know, he doesn't really say no. Sometimes he says, yep, here you go. And sometimes he says, yep, but you got to wait for it, because now it's not the right time. And other times he says, yeah, but actually I have something better for you that, that I have planned for you in, instead of the thing that you're asking for. Right? And sometimes we don't see that or we don't understand that, but God always gives us what's best for us. Well, he really loves us, doesn't he? Yeah, he sure does. So, Jeff, you know what? This is our last episode. It is? Yep. Yep. Since our lessons are based on the, um, on, on the lessons in the Sunday school lesson, like today's actually was based on Jacob and Esau because Jacob was wrestling with God and didn't want what God wanted for him. But God gave it to him. He helped him out so that, um, so that he would have what he needed. And, um, and, and so today was our last lesson um, until next fall. That's a long time. Yeah. Well, but if people like our show, then they can let us know. They can like this episode on YouTube or they can send us a comment. And... Um, and, and, or share it with friends, and, and then there will be a lot more views. And if we see that there's interest in the show, we'll keep it going. Well, that would be great. Yeah, so, um, so we'll start it up again in the fall. And so let us know if you'd like us to do that, and we'll keep doing it if there's enough interest. Okay, well, have a happy summer. Yep, and God bless you all. Bye! Bye now.